about the daytime swordfish rig. Um, you're looking at a, a, a diagram. At some point in the video, you can you can stop that diagram, pause the, pause the thing, and take a good look at it from the digital perspective. Now that it's on the screen, what I've done is I've made a rig here. It's a shortened version of the rig, but at least you get a chance to see it in real life. This little rig I made, um, starting at the hook. End of the rig, you've got your hook. Uh, my choice of hook it has a little bit of a, a bend in. A southern tuna bend is what they call that. Um, I like a stainless hook. This is a 7691S style hook that's bent in and stainless. The reason I like the stainless is because it's, to me, uh, if, I'm, if I'm driving a hook at a long distance, I like it to be smooth so it can actually drive in past this barb here. So, turned in hook there. Um, representing my uh, skirt, this is actually a, a small glow skirt. I have 10 or 12 different skirts. You know, some of them are real dark, some of them have a lot of glitter in them, uh, and some of them are, are glow. So certain days you'll notice they like certain skirts. Um, the reason, true reason for the skirt really is to make the bait more aerodynamic so it pulls through the water and swims naturally. Um, it, it hides all your rigging and it makes the bait pull straight. Underneath that you're going to see my Mamoy diamond uh, crimp, aluminum sleeve on 300 pound liter.